Tara Reid has spent decades seeking respect for her acting work, but tabloid rumors about plastic surgery, her dating life, addiction, and other personal struggles have drawn far more attention. Tara Reid began acting as a child and booked her first film role before she was even a teenager in the 1987 horror film A Return to Salem's Lot. It would be another 11 years before she appeared in another film, 1998's The Big Lebowski, a celebrated Coen Brothers movie where she played a trophy wife. She continued to try and book work with notable directors and became a late 90s and early 2000s Hollywood it girl appearing in cult classics like Cruel Intentions and Urban Legend. But arguably, her biggest role was the 1999 smash comedy hit, American Pie. Vicky, wait. Not for you. She went on to star in other comedies like Josie and the Pussycats and multiple American Pie sequels. In the years since, she has mostly gotten roles in sci-fi original films, made-for-TV holiday movies, or quick appearances as herself for one-off jokes. She's been nominated for multiple Razzie Awards over the years, and her personal life has become fodder for tabloid headlines, often overshadowing her work. While Reed usually laughs off the critics, she's expressed her desire for more serious roles. She told Time, It's not that I can't do them. The studio says no. If I got the opportunity to do them, I can deliver. Tara Reid has never been married, but she was famously engaged to TRL host Carson Daly for a while. Though they were together decades ago, many still associate Reid with Daly, whom she initially met at an MTV event in Cancun. The pair got engaged only seven months after their 2000 meeting and set a wedding date before Reid cancelled it to film a movie. The wedding was never rescheduled as the pair separated in mid-2001. Reid told Cosmo Girl of The Split, I lost my appetite. I was numb. I literally thought I couldn't breathe. Every restaurant, every food, every song reminded me of him. I'm okay now, but there are times I definitely miss him. I've never had my heart broken before." Daly told Elle years later that Reed's partying and desire for celebrity ended the relationship. The voice host is now married to Siri Pinter, who worked as a writer's assistant on his late-night show. Reed got engaged again in January 2010 to internet entrepreneur Michael Axtman, but within months the couple called off their planned wedding. Reed met current beau Nathan Monpetit Hauer in 2019, and the two lived together in Los Angeles. Tara Reid was subjected to some gross treatment in the tabloids after an unfortunate wardrobe malfunction in 2004. Reid posed on the red carpet for Sean Diddy Combs' birthday party, unaware that the strap of her dress had fallen down, exposing her breast. As a publicist ran over to help the oblivious actor, paparazzi allegedly high-fived each other, displaying no regard for Reid. She was mocked by both the public and the media because a cosmetic procedure had left her scarred. TMZ even gave Reid the cruel nickname Frankennipple. The incident opened the door to intense ridicule that would have made most people crumble, and Reed was understandably affected by the public derision. She told Today, I became known as having the ugliest breast in the world. It was all over these websites, millions of them. I was already dealing with what it looked like. The last thing I wanted to happen was to have the whole world see it. It was kind of a, a nightmare. I got really um, kind of butchered up. After getting another surgery to fix the appearance of her breasts, Reed showed off the results in the January-February 2010 edition of Playboy after years of turning the publication down. Tara Reid's acting career had slowed by the time she took her first big swing at reality television, but she didn't know a reality show was what she was getting into. Fresh off a failed television pilot, Reid agreed to host the E! Network's Wild On, a travel show about nightlife and culture, which had been on the air since 1997. Reid technically never ended up hosting Wild On, though, because the producers changed the name to Teradice and rebranded it as a docu-series. She told Us Weekly the series was, quote, "...probably the stupidest thing I ever did," adding, I didn't know it was going to ruin my career. Teradice only lasted one season, but Reed considers it a turning point in her career and not in a good way. The show was more about Reed's antics rather than the place she was visiting. The actor told BuzzFeed News, "...that's where really I think the party girl image came. I didn't realize that would actually hurt me. I thought it would be fun." Some pre-existing tabloid coverage of Reed's partying had already given her that reputation, but the show certainly didn't help. Even before she went to rehab, Tara Reid's reported use of drugs and alcohol was widely mocked. 
For example, a 2007 article from TMZ had the headline Tara Reid train wreck on the party train. Many other similar headlines dogged the actor throughout the aughts. Reid checked herself into Promises Treatment Center in December 2008, despite having previously said she did not do drugs and was only a casual drinker. At the time, insiders told People magazine that she entered rehab for a problem with alcohol and that her alleged erraticism when drunk was hurting her relationships with friends and family. Reed painted a similar picture when she spoke to In Touch the following February. She said, The hardest thing was walking through the door for the first time, finally admitting that I had a problem. I had been in such denial. Rehab saved my life. Reed's first major documented relapse came in 2013, when TMZ published video of the actor in a state of inebriation. The outlet made it a point to allege she could barely stand and made her drunkenness a punchline. TMZ published a similar report in 2015, when Reed was said to have gone with a stranger she met at an airport to a tattoo parlor. Reed didn't get a tattoo, but the headline still referred to her getting wasted, and the story claimed she had drinks on the flight. Other outlets similarly joked about photos of her double-fisting wine bottles in 2014 or reported on the non-story of her missing a flight in 2016 because she was allegedly drinking at an airport bar. Mocking Tara Reid's relapses is far from the only way tabloids targeted her. It's fair to say the media bullied the star, particularly in the early 2000s, when American tabloid journalism was at an all-time high. There's been a whole movement against blogger Perez Hilton, whom Reid has cited as one of her worst bullies. Reid was given horrible nicknames, mocked for her partying, and had her body constantly scrutinized. Her most embarrassing moments became top stories. Reed has named the media's obsession with her as a key element in her career downturn. She told Time in 2014, I feel like a cartoon, because that's what sells. Let's write a bad story about Tara. Let's show her drunk. Let's show a party girl. Let's show the worst situations. Videos were posted to gossip sites of Reed drunkenly leaving clubs or waiting in line at a club as Paris Hilton and Kim Kardashian breezed through the door. The website Laney Gossip was admittedly so mean that they even attached disclaimers about extremely offensive writing to some of their old articles about Reed and others. I felt like, you know, in my life I've had a lot of bullying, and I, you know, I know what that feels like and, and how much it hurts. In addition to her unflattering breast surgery, Tara Reid also had a liposuction procedure that left her stomach disfigured. This led to hundreds of articles detailing exactly how awful the writers felt it looked and basically how ashamed of it she should be. Most outlets have become more body positive in recent years, but at the time, there was very little empathy for Reid, as well as many other young, famous women who were often photographed up their skirts as they exited cars at the time. Reid's liposuction was lumped together with her breast procedure to back up claims that vanity had left the actor disfigured. Once again, gossip websites hit Reed with the nastiest comments. Laney Gossip wrote in 2011, Before long, the posing turned into some sort of stomach demonstration. It's a ghastly, protruding thing, isn't it? Like it might detach from her and start killing things. Part leather, part plastic, all gross. That post is now one that carries the aforementioned disclaimer about extremely offensive writing in the site's early days. In August 2011, Tara Reid announced on X, formerly known as Twitter, "...just got married in Greece. I love being a wife." That was actually her fifth tweet about the matter, with the first one announcing an engagement and the second one two hours later declaring she was married. The media immediately pounced on the story, with Reid's uninformed representative confirming to People that businessman Michael Lillilund was the groom. Once something is in People, everyone else picks it up, so Reid had to clarify in another tweet that it wasn't her ex Lillilund whom she married, but new boyfriend Zach Kahayev, also a businessman. It wasn't until November of that year that a seemingly inebriated Reid confessed in a TMZ video that she had never officially wed Kahayev. With no further explanation, she said, "...we were never really married. No, never legal." Some outlets presumed the apparent stunt may have been for attention. We don't know exactly when the pair split, but by March 2012, Reed was telling interviewers she was single. In 2016, Tara Reed once again faked being in a relationship. This time, it was so she could be cast on a reality show. Things didn't end up working out well for her, though. In Reed's 2022 BuzzFeed News interview, the actor declined to comment about the scandal, but the facts themselves are not pretty. Neither is the footage from the series Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars, which painted Reed as a chaotic and often inebriated mess. 
to get cast on the Reality Stars version of the show, which has been in production since 2014, Reed and Dean May claimed to be an item, despite not actually being in a relationship. They fooled the producers and everyone else by fighting over things like cheating allegations and personal behavior. May eventually admitted on the show that he and Reed were just friends and not in a relationship. Reed replied, I did it for you because you said I just want to make a little bit of money and I wouldn't mind the fame. They knew they were being filmed, so it's unclear if they just forgot or wanted off the roller coaster. But the disclosure got them booted from the show in the finale. Tara and Dean are not a real couple. I feel naive. Why were they here? I don't, I don't get it. Degrading and invasive media coverage of Reed's body has been a theme throughout her life, and not just in regards to her plastic surgeries. The actor's weight has been just as much a topic of scrutiny. She's been critiqued for being too thin and accused of having an eating disorder for years, and it still happens today. Social media has only exacerbated things because now just about anyone can publicly comment on celebrity bodies too, and do so often. It's clear from the way Reed hits back at her haters that she understandably takes comments about her body to heart. For instance, after people made negative comments on a 2021 bikini photo, she posted on Instagram again the next day directly calling out the body shaming. She also felt the need to include a new photo to show people that, quote, it was the angle, including the hashtag I love food. This is by no means new territory for the actor, who in 2017 did a sit-down video interview with the Daily Mail after a particularly unflattering photo of her made waves. It, it does hurt, and I'm here now to stick up for myself and to say, this has to stop. The body shaming needs to stop. Reed also denied that she was anorexic or that she had any other eating disorder. If you or someone you know is struggling with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741-741 or call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1-800-950-NAMI-6264 or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.